So we're going to start working with the vacuum around Hudson here. Apparently he attacks the vacuum at home, that's what his owners say. I think with the training that we've done with him up to this point, we shouldn't really have any issues. We're going to put him into a down stick. We're going to get a double down from him right off the bat. So we're going to tell him down, down, and get his head down nice and calm just like that. And that's what we're looking for. And then we'll start the vacuum up here. And I think we're going to down. counter conditioning or anything this is the first time the vacuum's been out and on since he's been here with him around and uh, this is his response to it so you know you'll see a lot of those people that spend so much time doing like counter conditioning with this sort of thing especially with fearful fear to fear or reactivity towards something like a vacuum um, like I said he was attacking it and maybe he was afraid of it um, or maybe it's just because of the state of mind that he was in in his home that's the behavior that he thought he was allowed to get away with and that he thought he had to practice and nothing was done to stop it. So, like I said, we haven't actually done anything to stop any behavior here other than using the behaviors that we've already taught him and the obedience cues that we've taught him are calm on command. And just the general state of mind that he's expected to be in in the home, no matter what's going on, right? Like whether the cat's running around or whether the vacuum's going or somebody's knocking on the door, this is the state of mind he's expected to be in. And he knows that, he's 100% clear on that. You know, a little bit of lifting up of the head and stuff, a little bit of nervousness around what this new thing is that he's never really had this kind of an interaction with, but not attacking it, right? No interest in attacking it. Down. And we can control that very easily with a down command, a little tap on our remote collar to let him know that we want him to settle. We'll turn that back on. right with growling people in the house barking at people outside the house growling and barking and acting aggressively towards people his owners new dogs it's all from the same place the same state of mind as it is when he thought he could attack his vacuum right and again we haven't really seen any of those other behaviors i just mentioned just like we didn't see him attack the, the vacuum and that's because the state of mind that we trained him to be in and the way that we taught him to handle these situations you can see when i tell him down he actually turns his head away from the vacuum looks away from it and avoids it and that's the same response we want when maybe a new person comes into the building or something like that, right? Previously, he would get overworked, he would get over aroused and right away move towards it and act out aggressively. Now he knows an alternative behavior, which is lay down and relax, relax, down. And that's what we can get, right? And that's what we can teach him to associate with when we're moving around the house or something new is moving or something new starts like the vacuum or comes into the house like a person. This is the same thing that we want, right? The same kind of behavior and the same reaction. So yeah, people will spend a lot of time having that conversation, having the wrong conversation, using things like food or something to maybe bribe the dog with, which obviously isn't the purpose of counter conditioning to bribe the dog, but that's what most owners and even a lot of trainers end up actually doing. It's just bribing, bribing the dogs in those situations, you know, putting a bone down there so they're distracted while the vacuum's going. Um, things like that, and that's not what we're looking to do with Hudson here. We're looking to make sure he understands that it doesn't matter what it is, that's not the appropriate response, right? Reacting aggressively, attacking it, moving towards it, or even acting like it's yours in any way is not the appropriate response. This is, right? And that's what we're looking for. So, like I said, that was the first time you just saw it on camera. That was the first time a vacuum had been started and pulled out around Hudson. His owners claimed that he attacks the vacuum a lot at home. So, 
that just goes to show that it's not, you know, it's not a behavior that's associated with vacuums or some fear of, uh, of vacuums. That's maybe a symptom of a, a larger core issue, which was the wrong state of mind for Hudson to be living in. And now he's doing a lot better, as you can see. So.